Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Friday flip through. These have been fun and I hope to continue them as often as I can this summer. So if you have any requests for a flip through that I don't already have, leave them in the comments down below. And if you comment requesting a flip through that I've already done, I will go ahead and just leave the link to that flip through under your comment in case you've missed it. So today I am doing one that was requested when I asked on Instagram for specific flip throughs and that is the Simply Charlotte Mason Shakespeare series, Shakespeare in Three Steps. So this is the one that we just completed this past school year, Midsummer Night's Dream. I think it's a really great starting point and so this is why I chose this one. We've done a few of them. This one was our most successful and then this upcoming school year we're going to be doing As You Like It. So. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and flip you through that one as well just to give you a little bit of a variation and show you what they look like So here is the simply Charlotte Mason Shakespeare in three steps flip through I'll do some explanation as I flip you through it But all the pages that I'm going to share with you are also available for free online on their website So I will link that down below if you are interested in like getting a, a more up-close visual or like hovering over a certain page and reading it for yourself instead of me just flipping through quickly. So here is A Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare in Three Steps by Simply Charlotte Mason. Okay, here is Shakespeare in Three Steps. And this is really done simply in three steps. So this is a comedy recommended for grades two to 12. Be mindful of this when you are looking at their website. Some of them are recommended, recommended for grades four and up, six and up, and then there are some that are nine through 12. So we stick with the ones that are two through 12 because my younger son does wanna do these with us. So here's how you do Shakespeare in three steps. You ready? Step one, you read the story. So you read like an, uh, an overview of what the story is about. Then step two, you hear the script. So you listen to it and you, it's broken down here and this gives you some ideas for how to help your kids understand what's being read or your kids can read along with it if you want to assign them parts. And then step three is you watch the play and it gives you recommendations for where to watch it and which versions to watch and things like that. It's very simple and it's very enjoyable. And then you have the script if your kids want to um, read along with it. So here you go. Read the story uh, version of the play to get familiar with the main characters and plot. And this usually takes us just about two or three sittings. Then you hear the script, listen to each scene on the audio dramatization and follow along in the script or assign students to read aloud the various characters' lines themselves. And then step three, watch the play, enjoy a live or recorded presentation of the play. So for Midsummer Night's Dream, here's the overview. So this is from Beautiful Stories from Shakespeare for Children by E. Nesbitt. So this one took us two sittings. And I just read a couple pages, they narrated, we, then before we started again, I had them tell what they remembered, then we read a couple pages, and then you get into the acts and the scenes. So here's what it tells you. So it has you start with, um, let's see, yeah, um, ask students what they recall from last time. Then it give, you give a little scene summary, distribute a copy of the script to each student who can read. Okay, and then down here, it gives you an idea of things to take a sneak peek at just for your kids to be familiar with. Um, and then it gives you some notes on the side, which is really helpful. So you kind of do this little overview. And then what you would do is you would then go to act one, scene one, which the script is in the back here for them. And you can make copies of this for your kids if you'd like to. My kids actually just sit around and look at the same book because they don't really like to read it on their own. They like to just follow along. And so here it is, they've got all of this going on here. So as they listen to it, an audio recording of it, they just follow right along. They already know what lines were pointed out for them to be aware of, and that's that. So it's very, very simple. Then after you go through all the acts and scenes, which they have it broken down here for you in the beginning. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is it nine readings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Then you watch the play and that's it. They've enjoyed a full overview. They've heard the entire script and then they've watched a play. So it's really wonderful. It takes us, if we do this one day a week, it takes us about 12 weeks to go through the whole thing. 
um, and it's super enjoyable. My kids really like it, and Midsummer Night's Dream, I think, is a really great one to start with. So there's and that. I did promise you I would just give you a little sample of As You Like It, and so it's very similar, except it's got a few extra um, acts and scenes in here, so maybe just a couple of extra weeks there, but it follows the same pattern. You read the story, you hear the script, and it gives you some information here. You can get samples and downloads of every single script that they have on their website. I really recommend visiting the Simply Charlotte Mason bookstore online because they do a wonderful job of giving you downloads and samples of every single thing so you're making informed decisions as you choose curriculum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about their Shakespeare program, leave them in the comments down below and I will link their bookstore in the description box down below. Bye guys.